Hi. It's me, Kelly, and we are calling in the Aries group. The future of your relationship. The collective is having some issues right now. I thought with their lovers, love situations. I thought maybe I should touch on some things. Find out what the future holds for you so you can get more clarity. So let's get it. So we're doing it for Aries. Aries, assets in life. Um, your, ge your gemstone is garnet. Courageous, naive, free, individualistic, liability, egotistic. I'm sorry, ego. Yeah, ego, egoistic. Pride, impatient, quick temper. Dominion, so your power, personality, physical build, um, the governs, head and face. So you're the ram, and that makes sense because they like to butt everything, don't they? They like to ram things, take charge and control over things in their life. Okay, so let's get it. Let's go. First card out. Is your strength. Oh. God's goddesses and angels can fly higher selves. These are the ones. Aries. Higher self and vibes. I think it's a clear message for you. For Aries. Higher self and vibes. which is fire and fire does represent you so attention Let's see acting confidence this is you coming out in your own reading and it's your strength Female or male, even though it shows a hot female here, you must be a hot male. But it's Queen of Wands energy. This is your strength. You know what you want. Okay, let's get it. Your challenge. Your challenge. Aries is challenged by their future, their relationship. Clarity. Show me what we need to see. Show me what we need to. Whoa, they want me to turn over. Show me what we need to see. challenge okay work burden responsibilities you seem stressed out ten of wands got a lot of creative energy going on or a lot on your plate you're taking on a lot so this is your challenge you got a lot going on right now um, a lot of responsibility and work okay so that's the challenge your lesson, your lesson you need to learn for the future of this relationship, what you need to learn for it to work.
planning, commitment, cooperation. Okay, that's like a no-brainer. We've got three of wands. You see how they're like planning. Okay. Let's go, let's get it. All right. So, the other person's lesson. Whoa. It's a fast, it's eight of, um, it was eight of wands, but I wasn't even ready. Okay, let's get it. Eight of wands is fast energy and change. So, um, the other person's energy, or I'm sorry, the other person's lesson that needs to be learned for the future of the relationship. Uh, show me, whoa. to see the light the lesson here loss grief they're focused on everything they don't have in life so they need to start seeing the light in the relationship in order for it to work the other person okay so your strength is you're sexy male or female um attention acting with confidence fire um and the challenge burden you got a lot of responsibilities work in this relationship going on in your life um your lesson you need to start planning commitment cooperation you need to be more cooperative if you want the relationship to work and they need to see the light in the relationship or like at the end of the tunnel in life or in general, they need to start focusing more on the light. You see the light coming in and they're not even looking. They're like, they're like looking at some flowers or something, mm. smelling some flowers just off kind of like in La La Land and they're drunk because they're drinking here, you see? And um, they're not really paying attention. So Aries, the person needs to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, for this relationship to work, they need to start seeing the light side of life and not loss and grief and regret of whatever is going on in their life. They need to focus and see that this relationship is the light and that they need to focus on that in order for it to last. Okay, so the ultimate, the future of this relationship, so like the outcome, if you guys do these lessons, okay? Show me what I need to show me what I need. Oh, okay. Ace of Pentacles, foundation, potential, sensuality. Got it? That to me. Uh, you guys have a good foundation to build on if these lessons are learned and the potential of the relationship and is very central um, and very powerful for this connection to work out you just need to focus on you know the completion uh, of whatever uh, planning and commitments for you Aries and for the other person, they need to see the light in the relationship and in their, and in their life. Okay, so that's what we got here. Um, let me see what else we can get here for you. Oh wait, before this, let's see. Let's get a couple of these twin flame cards. for Aries, for their more clarity for their future of their relationship, please. Show me what I need to see. Whoa. 
Too many. Just one, two. Show me what I need to see. Show me what I need to see. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help you. I'm sorry, help bring you together. That's a good, that's good, that's good. That's good um, advice that your, your prayers are being answered, basically. Visualization, affirmations that your relationship is working. You want it to work. Please bless me. Higher self, source, guides, Jesus, whoever it is that you seek out or pray to give us a clear message please one more please spirit show me what Aries needs to see give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so yes those are just some little extras for you to let you know I mean because those cards would have definitely and this card the outcome card would have been very clear on the fact that this relationship wouldn't work and it is not saying that at all it's saying that there is a lot of potential here so let's see if we can get you some so in case there's one or two people in your life and you're confused so and to get you some more messages of some numbers maybe two we've got the number two so I don't know if this could be birth dates or favorite numbers of somebody in your life, someone special, a five. And a, a nine, a six. It's a nine. <laughs> oh wait, it goes, it goes, it's a nine. Wait. Yeah, one of the two. I'm not sure. But there you go. Those are your numbers. And I hope you really enjoyed this um, message of what the future of your relationship uh, outcome and I hope it helped guide you and give you a little bit of clarity and I hope to see you soon. Please like and subscribe um, if you haven't already to help support me on my goddess journey. Bye for now.